my name is Judy and I'm here at the Pittsburgh Zoo and I am here with Hawk. He is our male California sea lion. He came to the Pittsburgh Zoo back in um, June 15th of 2006. He came to us from the Marine Mammal Center out in Sausalito, California. He has a very unique story in that he is a rescue rehab animal. So Hawk was a repeat strander and when they first found him, it was in January of 2006. He only weighed about 37 pounds. So they took him in and they got his weight up to about 55 pounds and they released him again in February. And by March, he was back um, on a beach and they had to uh, help rehab him again. So they got his weight back up. They released him a second time and within a very short period of time, he was back on another beach. So the center eventually deemed him non-releasable because every time he stranded, he kept approaching people, and that's a problem. So unfortunately, a lot of people think it's really cool when a wild animal approaches them in the wild. It's a problem because when animals start relying on people for their food, um, they become what the, what's called as nuisance animals, and they will start causing all kinds of problems. So if somebody feeds them and somebody else doesn't, then they might get angry and start like going after people or biting people. So that is definitely a big no-no and that's one of the reasons why we don't feed wild animals. As a matter of fact, the stranding centers have very specific rules and they post them on the beaches about how close you should or should not get to the animals. And also, yeah, I know, they do. And also about not feeding them because that leads to all kinds of problems. One of the things is, we don't know what happened to Hawk's mom. So they found him stranded, he was um, very thin, but we don't know what happened to his mom. So as the ocean waters get warmer, the moms sometimes have to go out further into the water to find food, which leaves their pups on the beach for longer periods of time. And um, depending on how successful they are in finding food, they may not come back with enough calories to help feed their pups. So that's one issue. Another issue is all of the different like fishing nets and fishing lines, all the ocean pollution that can affect these guys. We don't know what exactly, good boy, good. We don't know exactly what it will do to them, but one of the biggest things that they have found is fishing lines or nets wrapped around their flippers, wrapped around their necks. As the animal grows, now you can see how big Hawk is now, as the animal grows, it cuts into their skin, it can cause infections, it can weigh them down. Sometimes they get fishing hooks in that lodged in their mouths, and um, that can lead to them having problems with um, hunting and feeding themselves. Um, also, there is um, the just plastic in general. Them, the fish eat the plastic, the sea lions eat the fish. There's all kind of side effects to that. So we need to be really careful and responsible with how we dispose of our wastes and also our fishing nets. We got very lucky in that the Stranding Center reached out to us and different zoos and aquariums around the world have helped out with taking in animals that would not have been successful in the wild. Now for us, that makes him a very unique ambassador animal because we can do education programs and explain to everybody you know, the impacts that we have on the oceans. Also, it lets people see him up close and just marvel at how wonderful an animal he is. So in that regard, he makes a great ambassador animal for us and for everybody to learn about sea lions and what we can do in the, uh, to help them in the wild. And that also includes making very uh, sensible and responsible choices with what kind of seafood we eat. So Monterey Bay Aquarium has put together a little card that you can look up online or that we have around to the zoo. And it tells you which seafood choices make the least impact on the animals in the wild. So which ones are the good choices and which ones we should avoid. So the next time you're here at the Pittsburgh Zoo, make sure you stop by and visit our sea lions and see how wonderful they are, especially Hawk here, yes you are. And uh, come by and visit us. Good job.